Hello there, YouTubers, uh, weavers, food critics, and who knows what else is out there, people watching. The, someone who stumbled on this while they were looking for some hard rock. I don't care. <laughs> Happy to have you watch my channel. Hey, I'm uh, starting up another weaving project, and it's an old project. Um, for some of you who are weavers and may be familiar with uh, this, here's a copy of Hand Woven Magazine from March, April 2003. Yes, I do save old magazines. Um, and this issue was a special done on patterns with stripes. And I kind of remembered this pattern for a while. It's a super simple uh, weave pattern, but it looks really neat, called Playing with Stripes. And let's hold... There's the picture that came with the article. And um, so that's what I'm working on. Um, then what they give you in here, and again, we'll just hold this up. So basically these two down at the bottom are if you just have the stripes going the direction of the warp. Then up in this little sample, which is just, just a little mock-up of what they think the towel will look like, is if you have weft stripes as well. And then you can get really complicated and do a few things like this um, to make it more complex. So right now I'm at the stage of uh, warping the loom. We're, I'm still finishing up uh, the warping, but let's aim this down and just show you the back of the loom as I've got the uh, warp on there as I'm winding it on. And there we are. Um, you can see what the uh, pattern looks like. So I changed it just a little bit in the, in the magazine. They had it in white and yellow and blue. And I've got white and gold and purple. Pretty close. Um, and I'm just winding on. And I've got um, I've got weights on the what now appears to be the back, but is actually the front of the loom that I'm holding some tension into my warp threads as I wind. And I must admit I've had some problems with this particular warp. A couple of threads have gotten a little twisted and I've actually broken one or two warp threads and had to repair them. But um, I'm close to the end now and I think we're past the point where it's going to break up on me again. So here's the pattern shown just in the warp and I should finish finish the winding on within 20 minutes or so and then I'll, then it's a case of starting to do the um, the uh, threading of the heddles and as I'm sure some of you know that takes a long time it's just plain putsy um, you can see me doing that in some of my older videos so I'm not going to do that in this but I will come back and show you some of the weaving that's it for now more later okay we'll give you one view of the warping winding on the warp from the front Get caught back there. There we go. That's about the end of it. Well, that's, you can probably see, this is about as far as I can wind on from the front to, to wind on the back. Now it's time to uh, give this guy a haircut.
all this does is pretty much even up the threads and get rid of the fact that when I put this together on the warping board there were a lot of you can see there's loops in there at the end and I just those would be nothing but headaches so this is the easiest place to go through and cut this off they don't have to be exactly even as long as they're generally close there we are Haircut complete, just like uh, cutting its bangs. Now let's pull these threads through the rattle this way and drop them down behind the loom. So. Keeping them across the lee sticks. There goes my phone texting me again. So that we can use the cross that's in the lee sticks to um, know how we're going to thread the heddles. And I'm going to lower the lee sticks as well after I get done with this. Okay, so now I'm just going to tie them back to there. Okay. Well, I am about as far with this set of weaving as I can get. You can kind of see here the um, strings that tie the uh, warp onto the back beam are about as far as forward as I can go. I've only got what a hand's length of distance between the uh, where I tied it on and the back of the heddles. So if we go around to the front. I think this light's too bright. We'll do this. You can see what's what's on there, and that's about as far as I can weave. I there's not enough opening there anymore to uh, be able to weave much. So I've got little over a foot of loom waste on the back end. Um, I didn't show you any of the actual weaving on this project. You've seen enough of that. So I just uh, showing you both the beginning and the end I guess. Okay so I'm going to set the uh, camera down for a second and cut this off and then we'll take it in and put some hems on it. Well the lighting in here is terrible but um Maybe we can at least get this thing cut off and the battery's low on the camera too, so let's see what happens here. There we are. We're cut off. Let's start rolling it up. Release the brake. And I've forgotten how many towels I got out of this, either seven or eight. There's one. Two. Three. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little red line. That's where I separated the towels. Four. Five. Six. Seven. I did get eight. Eight. Set this up there now and cut again. Time to go put hems on. 
All right, we're certainly now away from the loom. Uh, we're in my wife's sewing room at her sewing machine. Um, she doesn't do hems for me. She did at first, but doesn't do this anymore, so I'm having to learn to do it myself. So what, I'm, what I do is I take the edge of the cloth here, fold it over once, fold it over twice, until I get a fold that's only about a quarter of an inch in size. Set it under the foot thingy here of the sewing machine. And away we go. Couple Irish pennants there will fold out and move out of the way. Do this again. Again, the double fold. I don't know, there, there may be a technical term for that in sewing. If there is, I have no idea what that term is. To me, it's a double fold. Now we can go all the way to the end this time. it up and snip off the excess threads. Okay, we're set now. Get out of there. Um, we've done one end of this towel. So let's move down. We'll get back up there. We'll move the camera just a little bit and maybe zoom you out just a little bit. So you see this red stripe? When I was weaving, I put, um, at, at the end of each towel, I put one back and forth, one full weft across to show me where the end of each towel is so that I can cut them. So now I just take handy dandy scissors and cut across that red. Any red threads that are left in there I don't care about because by the way I'm going to fold it under they will pretty much disappear. There. So this roll here is all the extra towels. So this is the first one off. We'll just turn the whole thing around And again, flip it over and fold it over a second time. Get that needle out of the way. Put that down. One or two forward threads. And we'll go backwards just over to the edge. Now we'll go forward. Fold. Fold. And zoom down. This is probably about as unexciting to you as it is to me, um, but it's it's one of the ways to put an edge on a towel. I could do a, a, hem, a hand hem stitching, but I'm not going to do that on the loom. That's a lot slower than this.
that folded under there. We have one towel hemmed. It's, I don't know if you can see that, but that's it. One towel down and seven to go over this batch. And um, I'll try and remember to show them to you when I get all the rest of them done.